everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. All right. Wednesday, yeah? May 29th. Let me think. Let me hear. Let me listen. So, because I said it that way for today, because I said it that way for today, Wednesday, the 29th of May, 2019, I'm feeling that we need to be mindful today of what we hear, how we speak, and listen. So, so what we hear is one thing and listening is another, right? Sometimes we only wanna hear what we wanna hear, but let's try today to really listen to, and not, what, not just what others say, but also to what the universe is trying to say, um, okay? I'm also hearing, for whatever reason, some are going through a career transition. And it's a good, and for the better. For the better. Okay. Listen before we speak. Take a minute to pause before we speak. Some um, also, gosh, wow. Some are also coming into a union with their um, life partner. The universe is making it happen. So it's like, for those who are single, it's almost like a sacred union is happening soon. Okay, let's go. Oh, jeez, let's go. Listen to me. All right, this reading is for Wednesday, the 29th of May, 2019. Yeah, nine of wands reversed. That's good. That's good. Yeah, new beginnings on every, on every level. Um, new peaceful beginnings, okay? New peaceful beginnings. Finally knowing that you're so, you're strong, right? How could you not be after going through this? So you're strong. And you endure, I hear. And you are enduring. Um, it's kind of like, I always look at this card as Hercules. Climbing that mountain, right, and saying, look, I did it, you know, that kind of thing. That mountain right behind him. Okay, I like that. That's nice. Okay, so this is what the, the eight of wands, no, three, I'm so sorry. Three of wands reversed. So, Okay, so this is what I'm saying. The opportunity is here for the taking and the opportunity may be something that, first of all, which is beautiful, you don't have to struggle. And the opportunity may offer itself or lend itself to something that is, this could be the career change whereby it's not going to be at another location. This could be just a career change in the same company that you um, keep, okay? In the same company. Um, if it's a new beginning with, um, with a potential uh, new beginning for an idea, 
it's coming at you now. It's happening now. Okay. Let's get one more and get one more. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is new love. Oh, my God. So today, hello. This is, so this is new love as well. Okay. So we have a lot. See, <laughs> this is why I did get a lot of downloads. So it could be, let's just take it one at a time, a new opportunity that's not really something that's a new location. It's not a new location. It's like a, it could be literally a promotion within the same company. And it's a big company, okay? For others, it's a new love, a new start in a relationship, and we're leaving the past pain, this, the past behind, okay? For others, it is really and truly, if you're not with anyone, it is a new love coming into your life and it's going to bring you great happiness. And because you feel so much love for yourself and you've worked on yourself, the universe is gifting you with this. For those of you who are partnered up, this is a sacred union that is actually meant for you. So whoever you're with is your life partner. Of course, that's not going to apply to all. But, you know, when you have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, <laughs> you know, first of all, you're not looking back, clearly. And, and second of all, um, you know in your heart of hearts that this is the person for you. And if that applies, then yeah, for sure, it's for you. So we have two really huge new beginnings. It's either, it's either or. It could be also that company that you're in. It's that you love it so much. You love this company. So they're giving you a new position. Okay, now I'm losing my voice. So that is it also. You're getting a new position within the organization that you um, are with currently. And it's going to be good. Um, a new love, a sacred union, um, right? Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Wow. How awesome is this? This is like crazy. Two aces. Okay, I don't think this has ever happened on a daily for sure. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is the queen of swords in reverse? Okay, hold on. Because she has to make a decision that is going to, obviously, she, this Queen of Swords is, if you have air in your chart, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you're clearly being offered, and it could be, right, it could be two new offers, and of course, what, you want the one that's in front of you, maybe not necessarily at a distance from you. Okay, and the queen wants the truth. So maybe this decision that is that has to happen for her and she's not, she's, up, she's reversed, right? She's not upside because the decision she has to make is a tough one. It's not going to be an easy decision. That's why. And now we have another ace. Are you frapping kidding me? Oh my God, you guys. Okay, scared of love, scared of new beginnings. There it is. That speaks volumes. And also, mind you, scared of starting over. Why? Right? So the decision that someone is being given is to start a new beginning. In love, a new, a whole new frappin beginning. In love and or a career transition that I see, an opportunity. So there's, there's many scenarios here, which everyone resonates. Just go for it. If it doesn't, then you know, we've said it before, it's not for you. But to have three aces in one reading 
even with that Ace of Wands reversed, you guys, come on. It's just because you're scared. I mean, we, we saw the, we saw this. Is this queen, has this queen been so hurt that she is emotionally unavailable? Okay. Could the offer, is the offer real, right? Is this offer, be it in, in career and or love or loving what you do, is the choice, you know, is the choice be, um, being, is it coming out of a fear-based mentality? Very important, right? Let's really emphasize that because you can't start anything when you have this fear-based mentality going on. And that's why a new start, get your, get your, you know, get yourself moving. It's not bad because it's going to turn around. You just have to make this decision. So do not make a decision. First of all, this is why. Now I understand the intro and why the Queen of Swords is reversed because she needs all the facts. She needs to weigh her options. We do have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. We need to weigh our options and make sure that the choice that is made is not based on fear and is based on love. Okay? So we need to really... <laughs> Exactly. Listen, right? Really listen to what is being said and what's not being said. So important. And that's just with anything. Okay. Let me see if I'm getting anything else before I clarify. So you have the courage to move forward you have the courage to, to move into a very loving, sacred union. A new idea that you love may prosper, uh, will prosper, I shouldn't say may, excuse me. And this opportunity knocks. I hear Eminem, right? When the opportunity knocks, you got to take it before it's too late. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking at keeping our senses wide open. And that's what typically the Queen of Swords does. Looking at every angle, looking at every thread of information and not speaking and just observing, you know, she, the, the look on the queen of swords face is, um, okay. Uh, tell me that again. Uh, the look is, are you, are you kidding me? The look is okay. So that's your story. Is that what you're going with? Okay. So this is, that's, you know, that's kind of like the the queen of truth. So don't bring, I'm going to tell you right now, don't bring drama to the trip, to the table. I've, the queen has been there. And literally do not bring any drama. If you come, come with clear clear, precise uh, messages and clear, precise information and authenticity. That's it. Come only with your authentic self or don't come at all. And that's in love and or a career transition. Okay. Offer me something authentic. That's it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It sometimes it takes a while, yeah. Okay. So it balances the scales. It is going to balance the scales for this queen once she gets all this in in place. 
everything has to be in place and and the knowledge that is received will be dissected to the point literally because that's what the queen does dissecting the information so someone is transforming here i i'm thinking it's this queen transforming herself not to be not to be she is the authentic one okay the others are transforming the people coming at her are transforming to give her the offer the offerings we have recognition and reward you know what i'm going to say that if there is if there is someone coming at this queen to balance out the scales people are watching some people are she's watching so maybe the queen is changing who she has become and so now I have to digress because she's come not she is authentic however she's transformed who she allows here in her circle the queen is transforming and coming to a place which she's not upright yet okay so the transformation is almost complete but whoever comes to her here must come with authenticity and not your ego. Come with, come with pure intent is what I'm trying to say. And then she will make, he, she, you will be, you'll be able then to balance out your decision here because you do have a decision here. You have an ace of cups and an ace of pentacles. And whoever's coming in here is going to come different. They're not going to be the same. The offer is, it could be from the same person but and same company, right? But it's different. You're getting promoted. You're transforming. You're raising the bar. You're leveling up. So what is coming to this queen of swords so that she can turn her you know, write herself up is the authenticity of those who come before her in love, in business. Don't bring the drama. Don't bring that at all. Because, you know, she's just going to cut you out. So the decision is now I'm ready to make a decision, right? The queen's going to do it based on love, but only if it's authentic. So whoever comes to the table here for the queen, it better be that you've changed and that actions speak louder than words. Don't bring the same, same old, same old to the table here. And this is a wish for someone. So this could be very well be a... The treasures that you find that are coming at you. And I mean, we can only say you cannot deny that we have. Hold on. I have to. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We can't deny that the movement forward from here on in is a treasure. A sacred union is a treasure. You love, this queen has transformed her fears into making a decision now that also that is based only on authenticity. Do not come to the table with anything else but that. So everyone, I, I have to say, everyone that comes into play here that is offering anything at all is going to be coming from a place of authenticity and this is huge um, fulfillment of wishes and it is coming after a sacrifice has been made
the blessings are here. Okay. Someone took a real long look at themselves. And and um the queen just all the queen all the queen of swords wants is the truth and you know us being to be to bring something to the table that's authentic. So if you're coming with a business proposition, it better be authentic and not and pure and only of intention, good intentions. So take a bow. <laughs> take a bow. Whoever's coming to this queen that's gonna that wants to balance out the scales of her life or his life. He he and or she. There's a couple here, right? has transformed someone has transformed or if not both okay really and truly definitely so only bring this only bring to the table now and be very and be mindful of what is like i mentioned in the intro it is important to listen to what is not being said this queen knows how to do it listen to what's not being said and what's the actions of someone. I'm losing my voice again. <coughs> yeah. Actions speak louder than words for the Queen of Swords, especially one who has who has learned um, and had some hard knocks, which the Queen of Swords has. It's not the Empress. However, whoever's coming to the table, if you're a male it doesn't matter, female. I'm only using the queen because it's it is here indicative of the card. But be mindful that it could be anyone being offered a love, sacred union, and or a new beginning in a business. Um, same job, you know, same company. Definitely, they need someone who's going to transform into transition into. A new job position. See, you're taking the position and you're you're going to be leading the way for the new job. You just want to make sure that you read all the fine print. And whatever's not being said, make sure it is written. Definitely. Okay. Let's get just a few more cards from the Ascended Masters, because now I kind of went over today and I'm trying to finish uploading freedom. So whatever choice that is being made is going to free someone, um, not so much, you know how when you're, when you're in a job or when you're in a relationship, when you're really in love with what you do they give you, they meaning, you know, the job gives you the freedom to go and do what you need to do and make decisions, you know, that are good for. So this is like, this This could be, and I'm hearing it, this could be, they're giving you a um, a title change that is, is, um, is a boost, right? But it's not the money right away. It, they're gonna they're giving you more freedom in your position to manifest new things you're gonna lead the pack in a job that's going to be really amazing maybe you came up with something to help to help the department or you know you're you're launching something within an organization that they really want you to be the um driver driving force okay which is going to give you the freedom to do so right freedom also could be more money yes but in this company i'm feeling it's different i'm feeling it's a it could be a pay raise but it's not a whole lot it's more like okay we're giving you the title of coo and giving you extra money but it's maybe not as much as you thought but it has great great potential hello Okay, if it's a sacred union, you are in a relationship, you are in this union based upon great love and authenticity that is going to bring that freedom of independence, which usually in a relationship, it's good to be independently, um, 
you know, be together, but you have your own separate, um, you know, uh, ideas, right? Allowing people to to orchestrate their own, bring to their to the table their own independent uh, ideas and the ways of being. So allowing that to happen. And when you have the Ace of Cups, that freedom is allowed. You don't want, you don't want true love to be anything but free because love is free. Love is freedom, especially true love. When you're constricted, which a lot of people unfortunately are, when you have the constrictions and restrictions, that's when your hands get tied and you're, you know that you want out, right? Somehow. Okay. I hope, I know I'm rambling a little, but I have to. Okay. There we go. So the universe is saying this is, is correct. We are right on. Thank you, Troth. And we also are in union um, with a treasure that comes from a past life, is what I'm hearing. The treasures that you are receiving, the people that are coming into your life, and the the treasures are within us, right? So those are the the um, talents that one has is coming out from ancient times, okay? Past life. The people coming into your life are the people coming. You are you are re you are revisiting a time that you you're going to notice it because it's so familiar. You may have that in a job and or in a love situation where that's where you know that it's meant to be. The union is sacred because it feels like going home. Okay, it's a past life situation. Definitely. It's past life. Someone could be also in the limelight, right? You know, a musician, an actor, someone coming into your life. You could be working for a big organization, you know, where you get a deal. <laughs> okay. And a prosperous one, but one that starts, you know, innocent. It's innocent. It's innocent, sacred union. The sacred union is innocent of, be it a job and or a union in, in love. So this is the decision now we have that when someone comes to the table, it must be authentic. The offer, be it, I mean, these are true cards of, right? Authenticity, right? That's all you want. Be authentic, be childlike. If you are going out on a date, it you know, whoever comes to the table better better <laughs> be speaking their truth and showing their true colors, you know, that kind of thing. And it will happen because these cards are just amazing. Wow, I did ramble, but I had to. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.